Hey Bright Blooms, this is Tara Lynn. I just wanted to go over the contents of your box really quick before we start on our lesson today. So what you have this month is, first you'll notice there is some navy blue tissue paper. I always save tissue paper. This is a fantastic addition to a lot of mixed media pieces. And sometimes the tissue, tissue paper will bleed, sometimes it does not. So you can get some really cool effects from tissue paper. So always save your tissue paper. You'll notice in your box, you have a new piece of transfer paper. If your old one is still good, keep it, keep both, use them whenever um, you need them they, they almost last forever but I like to make sure you've got what you need in your boxes um, you've got a little paint palette uh, you can choose to use this or use something else but this is just a handy way to, to divide up your paints you will notice this month you have a different type of paint so we are going to be switching to liquid liquitex fluid and um, I think this is just a better value the quality of paint is just as good if not better than what has been included in your boxes but um, you're gonna get one large four ounce bottle every month in addition to your supplies uh, this month we are using Payne's gray which is a beautiful neutral color uh, it's uh, great to use in place of black uh, when you need some darkness in your piece um, but it also blends with other colors really well and, and differently than black so this is a great tool to have in your toolbox you will notice you have a fine liner bottle with some bright blue paint and that is for um, some little fine colorful details to add to your piece you will notice that you have a gold um, pen touch this is a, called a sakura pen touch and this is really nice for some bright gold details so we're going to use that this month uh, also in your box you have got a little container here um, and in this container um, there's some extra scrapbook paper, but also um, I put your paints in here so they wouldn't get squashed. But what I like to use this for is just those extra little pieces of scrapbook paper that accumulate over time. Um, and they can get kind of messy and hard to keep, but this is a cute little way just to store those extra small pieces without losing them because even pieces, you know, small like this come in really handy when you're doing mixed media. You will also notice in your box, you have a paper stencil. Um, typically, I like to give you, um, or I like to make these type of stencils, but this is just a really delicate design and did not translate well onto the plastic. Um, and so for your stencil this month, we're gonna use paper. As far as your scrapbook papers, we've got some really bold things. So we've got this uh, tiger print, we've got some words, we've got some cyan colors there, and you've got um, some black and white sentiments as well as you've got your tracers for our Lotus this month. And so um, my sample, you can see a picture of that up at the top, is what we're gonna be working from, but you've got a few different Lotus shapes that you can choose from, and then um, Lotus leaves and Lotus pods. So you can include um, variations of these if you want to. Um, and I did them in black and white this time, Sometimes working in black and white can really show us where the lights and the darks of the flower are. So um, that's what we've got there. And then something different this month, um, typically we create on a canvas, a wooden canvas board. And what we're doing with this piece today is I've included canvas paper. And I um, this is Strathmore brand. It's a fantastic art quality brand. Um, and this is paper that is meant to replicate the feel, the look and feel of canvas, but it's really easy to frame. Um, it's nice to use for mixed media because it's still pretty sturdy paper, um, but you can put this in a frame with a mat and your piece will look fantastic. And so not only you know, are we making one piece today, but you'll have nine extra pieces of um, canvas paper that you can use for things on your own to create with in the future. So um, I just wanted you to get a, a feel for maybe some of the different surfaces that you can create on. So I wanted to include something a little different. Um, so that is your box this month. I can't wait to create with you and I will see you later.